Welcome to the Pregnant Ladies Academy Award predictions. Why can you trust my predictions? People always say that women are more intuitive when pregnant. You see, pregnant women have two brains, their own and their unborn babies. You know, two heads are better than one. Who is going to win Best Actor? Let's talk about this for a moment. What a great opportunity Eddie Redmayne had with this incredible role. Most actors will never get this type of break in their lifetimes. So if Eddie Redmayne takes the Oscar or not, he is so lucky to have had the chance to play the extremely challenging role of a character with such physical challenges. He gave an amazing performance and this is just the start of his career. Even though I think out of all the nominees, Eddie Redmayne's performance warrants the Oscar the most, I'm not so sure that Academy voters are going to give the grand prize to a newcomer. There's always Bradley Cooper, who the Academy clearly loves. I mean, don't you? Just look at that face. However, my Best Actor win prediction for the Academy Award for Best Actor is Michael Keaton. This one is going to Julianne Moore. She's very respected by her peers and got to act in an incredible role. Plus, she has taken the Golden Globe, the Screen Actors Guild Award, and most of the other awards this season. She's already had four Academy Award nominations in previous years without a win, so this is definitely going to be her year. There's a lot of great actors in this category. I personally would give the Oscar to Mark Ruffalo for Foxcatcher or Ed Norton for Birdman. But this is not about who I would vote for. It's about who the Academy will vote for. You see, J.K. Simmons has already won every possible award this season. Plus, he did a great job in this role. This award is going to J.K. Simmons. Supporting actress category is so obviously going to Patricia Arquette. She's already won the Golden Globe, the Screen Actors Guild Award, the BAFTA Awards, just to name a few. Besides her long-term dedication to the movie Boyhood and her excellent performance, perhaps the Academy is also awarding her for not having any plastic surgery during the course of the 12-year film. Okay, in Hollywood, 12 years without plastic surgery? Now that needs to be rewarded! Plus. I hope she wins because I love when people I once acted with win. I had a scene with her in the third episode of Medium. I had a really, really meaty part. My lines were, yes sir, click here to see my little clip. Now, let's talk about both Best Picture and Best Director. I would like to think the Academy will vote for Selma for Best Picture, especially since the Academy got so much backlash for Selma only getting two Oscar nominations, Best Picture and Original Song. Perhaps this backlash will inspire Academy voters to take notice and vote for Selma for Best Picture. If Selma takes the win, then we can all see that the Academy voters are good people and not racist, even though they are mostly older white males. However, more realistically, the front runners are likely Boyhood and Birdman. Boyhood already won a Golden Globe, but Birdman won the Producers Guild Award. It's a close call, but I think the Oscar is going to Birdman. On that note, I think Alejandro Enturo will take the Oscar for Best Director. He already won the Directors Guild Award, and that can be a pretty clear indication that he's going to win. But then again, it could be Linklater. Voters may really appreciate the 12 year commitment he made to Boyhood and the novelty of that idea. Who will take the Best Director Award? I'm not sure. Let me consult with the baby. Baby, who do you think it is that's gonna win Best Director? She said she has no idea who any of those people are and she'd like some milk now. Thanks for joining me. Happy Oscars.